said, rhythm instruments are good for kirtan because they make one more inclined to dance, and dancing in turn unlocks devotion. He liked graceful dancing, and uh, he used to use Jaya Chirthas, he was a very graceful dancer. As he said, see how he dances, it is very good. This will help him feel more devotion. But anyway, that day he specifically said that rhythm instruments are good, but not melodic instruments. Um, then another time, around that same time, he told Vishnu John one day, who was in his room, Vishnu John told me right afterward, that he did not like melodies that had long extended notes in them. Like we used to sing, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. He heard us singing that melody, and then right afterward he remarked to Vishnu John, don't, don't do like that. He liked all the melody to be filled up with mantra. Uh, during the lecture that he gave that day, he said, to also, don't harmonize during the response. In other words, the leader may sing a little variations, but the group should sing basically a steady response, and that one person shouldn't be singing one melody and another during another melody during the response. Right? So um, these things he said, that would help one to pay more attention to the mantra as one was chanting and dancing, and that way one would get the maximum benefit and the kirtan would also become more ecstatic. Um, he also said that the, gra that the dancing uh, should be uh, graceful and gentlemanly. And then he came down from the Vyasasan during the second kirtan. It was the first time I ever experienced him dancing with us. He came down right in the middle of the kirtan party and danced with us. And, you know, first he held his hands like this, and he danced back and forth with what we call the Swami or the Prabhupada step or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and he did it very gracefully, you know. He, he, he'd he kind of take a step into each way. He moved his foot back and forth. And then after a while, he put his hands up like this, and he started leaping up in the air. Up, up. Straight up and down, though. Not, not shaking his body around, just with his hands up and just leaping right up into the air. And his hands were going like this as he went up. And he kept leaping and leaping and leaping. And we were doing it with him, and I got tired. And actually, I stopped and started to dance back and forth again at one point. And here I am, I'm what, 21, 22 years old at the time. I was 21 when I moved into the temple. I must have been about 22. And he was oh, over 70. I think he was about 71 or something like that, or, or, or more than that, 70, in his early 70s at the time. And Prabhupada went right on leaping for a long time during that kirtan. Uh, he seemed to have no physical exhaustion from it at all. And I was, it really impressed me because I thought, here, I, I, I mean, I play basketball, right? And, and here this guy can jump more than I can. A, I shouldn't say guy, but I mean, that's the kind of thoughts that were going through my mind. I was just amazed. It was the first time I'd ever seen him dance, and here he was right in the midst of us. And, and he was leaping and leaping for a long time during the kirtan. In the beginning...